Hello everyone, this is a challenge run that I recorded in unstable 1.4, 500% threat in extreme desert. The wind conditions for this scenario would be five colonists with their own bedrooms and a renewable food source. The first attempt was going okay, making do with the food that we could find. But then we got some blight on our potato plants Lunartic refused to hunt because of their ideology, and I mistakenly made dromedaries venerated in Coral's ideology. I was trying to convert Lunartic, and Coral went on a mental break, hide in room. Unfortunately, because of the heat wave, Lunartic died, and then Coral also succumbed to heat stroke. Lying on the floor with no one to help save them, Coral eventually also died. But that's okay, because we're going to take another attempt with the new Coral. Coral's strengths are definitely her passions in fighting. She's really good at crafting and intellectual, passionate about both. Capable of everything, quick sleeper, tough, and a small scale in passion and construction as well. Is loaded up with some good gear, decent weapon, much like the rich explorer start, and uh, Lewis. Her horse decided to take these ruins and turn them into a very small room. Immediately, we must plant. We're planting potatoes. The fields are not very fertile, but we're also going to try planting some rice because it grows faster. Do some hauling for some basic defense. And of course, eating the package survivor meals that you came with. We now have two rooms, and there's a couple of lizards on the map. So we're going to need to hunt those. Lewis is doing okay, but Lewis is starting to get hungry. Coral almost shot Lewis. <laughs> the, the one lizard is eating the other lizard. Quick, shoot it. Uh, I did not expect that. We also have a beggar here. The beggar, Banastra. Why is it only saying arrest? Wants 43 silver. We're going to give it to them. We want some good karma in the world. Coral, go ahead and give them the 43 silver. We have 2,000 starting silver in this scenario, so... Beggar is taking the requested items and is leaving. Coral's getting the other lizard. And of course, as always, I'm reclaiming resources off the map. First thing we're going to do is set up a pace freezer. Not only do we need to make our food last a very long time, but Coral's also not really good at cooking. We have a trader here. Drang. They don't really have anything. We could buy their medicine and sell them pants. Buy their meals and medicine. Yeah. Extreme desert, marble and limestone, 40 at a 60 day growing period and average temperatures from 45 degrees Fahrenheit to 127 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're not really gonna be worried as much about Cold seasons, we're likely not to have any. We will be worried about overheating. And especially with no trees growing on the map in extreme desert, we can't just use passive coolers everywhere. Now, there are a few mods on this run, but only the ones that were updated with Unstable, so very few. Luckily, Octung is one of them. <laughs> and Mad Iguana. Mad Iguana's coming for Coral. Can Coral shoot it in time? I think she can. Okay, maybe not. Time to move out of the way, Coral. Move far enough away that you can get another shot in. Perfect. Good job. And we got a little extra dinner. 
Also have our first raid. One person coming to raid. One person with a knife, Coral. Can you get them down before they stab you? Get them, Coral. Get Vulture. Okay, Coral's going to have to retreat a little bit. Nice. Good job. And we can uh, try to tend Vulture. They're actually a really great cook. Um, they could be a good colonist, but we may not be able to keep them. <laughs> One of the lizards rotted. That's really unfortunate. We really, really need to get this pace built. Coral finally mined enough steel for it. Uh, but now we have to mine more steel for the coolers and the hoppers. And Coral is very, very slow at mining. We're gonna go ahead and strip and release Vulture. Vulture has an infection, and we can't really deal with them. So we're just going to let them go. We're, our limited meals need to be reserved for coral at this point. Just setting up somewhere to haul this rotten iguana. Especially with rot stink in 1.4, we don't want it inside that room. Although, we don't want it inside the room either way. I'm kind of worried about these coolers. We hardly have power for the pace. How are we going to do cooler and pace and everything? Hmm. We also need air conditioning for coral. So, I'm going to reduce it down to one cooler on the freezer. Also, forcing some stone cutting. I just want to get some resources so we can do a little bit more building. Gonna allow Coral to work on table. Power is fluctuating. There are spiders on this map, and we did have a wild person who, Emlera, has decided to try to uh, eat the insect jelly from right under the thug's nose. We weren't able to tame Emlera. You meditate, Coral. I hope you're doing okay. Wow. And Laura's okay right now. Fell asleep right next to the Mega Spiders. It's interesting. So Coral's doing a pretty good job with sowing on these plants. Level 3 skill. We'll see how well harvesting goes. You know, it's one starting pond. They can't be good at everything. But in a single starting pond scenario, they kind of have to be good at everything. One of the most important things is that they're going to be good at shooting, which Coral is a very good fighter. Hence the deserted soldier scenario. We finally going to get research set up and a table. Bench. Oh, look at this. Now we're living the fancy life. Slept in the heat. Hmm. Guess it's time to give Coral a cooler. Thrumbo. Um, yeah, two thrombos does sound pretty cool, but, um, 
I don't think we can take him. Lyra's walking through. Lyra's pretty good, but, you know. Just a visitor, it looks like. Coral's probably going to have to turn off the pace. We just don't have the power, and I'd really, really prefer it if the meat, the little meat that we have, doesn't go bad. Go ahead and work on this other cooler, even though we're definitely not going to have the power for it. <laughs> Coral is scheduled to meditate a little. That was just for recreation purposes. I'm just trying to keep Coral sane. If Coral goes on a mental break, it's very risky. We might get raided just as a mental break happens or something like that. And Okay, can you... There we go. There's a little bit of steel. Hey! Hey! Try to eat my package survival meal. You know what I think about that? Coral, shoot him. Shoot him, Coral. Shoot him more, Coral. Look, we weren't gonna mess with you, but you ate our package survival meal. And you know what? I don't want you around here eating our crops or meals or whatever. Coral, take him out. Coral's like, all right, <laughs> you insist. Bring him in, Coral. This is fine, right? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need some of that long pork. There's not enough food. We're gonna eat everything that we can kill. <laughs> Which is my way of saying, unfortunately, I don't think we can take out those thrombos. We could try, but it's very risky. And uh, having just lost a run, I'm going to say no. I'm going to hope for the potatoes or the rice. We should probably get the potatoes or the rice walled in. And let's make sure that the hoppers do include all meat. And we can link them together. Wait. Do I know how to do this? Link them together. Perfect. You may mean he's on there. Um, should be able to haul it. Coral was repairing the pace. Okay, so Coral can haul it later, so that's good. Working on some more mining. Very slow and bad at it. <laughs> uh, we just need the seal. Need the seal. There's lots of stuff that we need seal for. And power right now is the biggest issue, so I'm just putting another wind turbine in. Hopefully we can get the pace going now so we can preserve these package survival meals as long as possible. We're going to switch Coral to a pace policy. Where's Pay? Pay joins Pay's Salvation. Wherever Pay is, we only have one person. How are we supposed to rescue Pay? Wind turbines aren't really producing that much power, unfortunately. Oh, fun. Raid. We got a raider coming. Crow's gonna get down behind these chunks for cover. 
We really should haul in more of the chunks in the area so that they can't also use the chunks for cover because that's what he's about to do. Yep. We're slightly out of range for them, which is great. And uh, they have a bow and we have a gun. And they're also a melee fighter, not a shooter. Come on, Coral. Are you kidding me that you... Are you kidding me that you're not doing this right now? Thank you. Thank you. Please. Definitely want to take all your crap. <laughs> Definitely want that pemmican. And we'll also put you in the freezer. Coral's getting a little bit of work done on the wall. Slept in the heat. Awful bedroom. Eight nutrient paste. Unsightly environment. Yeah. Nothing to hunt except mega spiders and thrombos that are probably going to kill Coral. Go ahead, Coral, and strip and butcher. 64 meat in the hopper now. That's pretty good. Later that evening, Coral is catching up on a lot of work, doing some stone cutting, and has a sad wander. She comes out of the sad wander and immediately goes back to prioritize stone cutting. And because there is no power, she was about to eat the human meat raw. We're going to give her a packaged survival meal. Now she's eating paste. That's good. We could try turning off some of these lights temporarily. But I think the power is looking pretty good right now. Lewis is eating the dandelions. That's good. Hopefully that's enough food that Lewis won't eat too many of the potatoes. Hopefully. I don't... I don't know if we're going to be able to keep Lewis well fed. I have a little patch of dandelions for them. Need a research bench still. This many days in, uh, ninth day, and we still have not made a research bench. But she just doesn't have the time to research solo. We got a bulk goods trader, though, and she is working on stone cutting, which is good. We are working on some walls. It's not going to fully enclose all of the crops, but it will help greatly. They do have some pemmican and meat. They also have some wood. They have a lot of stuff I would love to buy, but I don't think we can. We could sell them. The Definitely the broad wrap. Maybe the gold even. Herbal medicine would be so good. We can't plan it. I feel like I want to keep the lizard skin, but I also feel like realistically we'll probably get more human leather than lizard skin, so. Could spend all of the silver that we're supposed to get from selling these items on herbal meds, but then of course a little tiny bit of meat. I wonder if we should keep that gold feel like we I feel like we don't need it right now and if we get to the point where we would need it no we'll keep the gold and we'll expend a little bit of silver instead just because we do have silver make sure you haul in those herbal meds and the meat good Continue working on the wall. You're now at an eight in construction. We need to re-sew the dandelions or else Lewis might starve. We don't have a pen for Lewis. We can't really afford to build a pen for Lewis. If we do, it's just going to be our walls. 
So Lewis is currently hitched to a hitching post. What that means is there's a certain range that he'll hang out in, and I'm just trying to make sure that there are some plants there. I prefer him to eat the dandelions. I'm also gonna make these walls a little bit smaller. I'm gonna cut in an angle here. Still slept in the heat, huh? Oh, your cooler is off. Let's turn that back on. So hard trying to preserve the power. Really need batteries. Working on more stone cutting. Girl's got to turn back on the pace dispenser. Looks like power's okay right now. Let's forbid those packaged survival meals. About halfway done with the first set of walls, which is great. And we're raided. Okay. Uh, one person coming in on the raid. That's not that bad. Get ready, Coral. Now, unfortunately, they're coming around the corner. And before they come around the corner, he set fire to my potatoes. So that's really annoying. And, and now they're coming. Okay. Leave my potatoes alone. Oh my gosh, this is the worst. We do not have enough food for these potatoes to be burning right now. You need to hit them. Run away up here. Oh my gosh, you're not making enough ground. Now you're in melee. This is not good. Oh, you're a lot better at melee than them. <laughs> That's good. Okay, now can you come down here? Get past them. Come on, Coral. Come on. The potatoes are burning. The potatoes are burning. Oh my gosh, please. Okay, they've slowed down a little bit because of Coral's smacks. Get them. Get them, Coral. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay, okay. Now put out all the fire. Let's check home zone because it's not all home zone. Okay. Put out all the fire. Quick. Quick, Coral, quick. Oh my gosh, the potatoes. Beats <laughs> recognition. It's super hot outside, 113 Fahrenheit. Oh my gosh, the potatoes. The potatoes, this is so sad. And the paste dispenser's on fire and more of the potatoes are now burning. Um, And we can't put out part of the fire because it's behind walls. So I'm going to have to deconstruct that. I'm more worried about the steel than the potatoes, even though obviously this is awful. Very, very awful. Okay, so Coral was able to save some of the potato crop, but uh, not nearly as much as I would have preferred. Please do not use Glitter World Medicine on your bruise. Just pat yourself up. You're, you'll be fine. Major break risk, yeah. We gotta let Coral go. Do their thing, but we also want to make sure that this stuff gets hauled in and it doesn't go bad. I don't know. And I need to make sure that this air conditioner is on. Because otherwise Coral will have a very, very hot night's sleep. Okay, repair the paste. Uh, you are super hungry. Yeah, go ahead and eat that pemmican. Good, good, good. And go to sleep. Thank you so much to my generous supporters, especially those folks that support me over on Patreon. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. See you next time.